check it out. I'm just here in Los Llanos waiting for the bus. Uh, I'm gonna head out on a long run today, 15 kilometers, but it's gonna be steep. It's actually the first segment of the Transvulcania Ultra Marathon. The first segment is seven kilometers and that's part of the marathon and then I'm gonna continue with another eight kilometers after that on nice trails. Let's go get on the bus and go to Fuencaliente and I will check back with you there. All right guys, I'm here at the beginning of my run today. I'm at the southern tip of La Palma. beautiful day I'm gonna head up uh, the mountain it's gonna be 700 uh, meters ascent over seven kilometers so it's gonna be 10% grade it's gonna be epic I've got my new hiking poles with me um, and that's gonna be cool to try out I'm gonna hike a fair bit and run a little bit as well obviously this is the beginning of the Transvulcania race so my my dream race which I'll probably do in like three years or something 74 kilometers I believe over the island of La Palma it starts here like down there or something and then they run all up this this hill that I'm gonna do now so uh, yeah it's a pretty special day for me just trying out the first segment of the Transvulcania race it's gonna be epic I think the le the fastest people they do it in about I think 45 minutes or something like that 40 minutes maybe I'll probably spend the an hour or a little more maybe I don't know uh, let's uh, get it on Wow, <laughs> what a tough start. I'm working way too hard. <laughs> I can't believe Sage Canada and all the, the, the elite runners, they do the first kilometer in six minutes. Whew. That's fast. I did it in like eight or nine minutes. Volcanic surroundings, pretty epic. I made it. <laughs> that's the church down there, and that's the that's the church in uh, San Los Canarios, which is the I think the first aid station in Transvulcania. And uh, yeah, that's the first segment. Whew. It was a lot of fun, that's for sure. But it was pretty tough, and I I did run a little bit too hard, definitely. Uh, but I was so excited. Definitely need more time to train though before I can run that segment uh, at an easier intensity yet faster pace and continue for another 10 times that distance. So, but that's, that's, that's fun. Now I'm heading up here. This is the next part of the Transvulcania route, heading to El Pilar, in the middle of the island approximately. But I'm not gonna do that today though. That's gonna be next week or the week after that. So today I'm just focusing on that segment that I just did. And now uh, I'm just gonna take a left somewhere here. Not on the route of Transvulcania, but head down the, the side of the ridge sort of for another uh, few kilometers, five, six, seven, eight kilometers, I don't know. And then I'm gonna take the bus back to Los Llanos. Wow, this is an insane landscape. It's very impressive that uh, Sage Canada, my hero, <laughs> and everyone else runs this race and they run, their pace is pretty impressive. But then again, they're training a lot too, so. Anyway, shout out to Sage Canada, by the way, if, if he's ever watching this. <laughs> you make awesome videos, very inspiring. Anyway, 
This was a good training run. This is a good training run. I'm really enjoying it. Probably one of the most epic runs of my life. Whew. Just going up that hill. And check it out here. Pines. Falcon. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my run. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Hope your running is going well. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out my Instagram account. The link is in the description. I'll post pictures there. I'll post, I'll post pictures there. I'll post, <laughs> I'll post pictures there from the run. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you around. Thank you.